we are back with more on the case of the fate of Black Peter. So let's continue. Right where we left off after the analysis. It was a total disaster, obviously. So, it's how the guy would react to this. So, we're going to Scotland Yard, yet again. So, cycling back and forth between these three locations, and see if it added a de deduction. Such as this letter. But that'll happen probably after what will happen, happen is the key word, right now. And here we are. Look at this man. What's that you got in your mouth? Oh, you're smoking? You don't blow that on my face. Mr. Holmes? You're not even looking at me. Your eyes. Oh god, that's creepy. Mr. Holmes? That's me. That's my name, don't wear it out. Ah! Hello. Hello. How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? Nope. Shapes of noses. Which one is mine? Um... Mine's a cross between the middle and the one on the right. Except not quite as long. Like, like the one middle right because of the top. The hunch, or whatever you want. Yeah, the hunch. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is down here, the body? Is the body here? No? Okay, Morgan doesn't come into play yet. Double hinge doors. Alright, that's what it was, right? Double hinge, yep. doing here? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. I'll do just that, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Liar. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. But then I could say the part about your gardener. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? But you just said you weren't there. Gardener. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? Oh my god. did as you asked, and hid them well. Should I continue? Which is the tin box? My letter? But the ink? 
That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one, but it's nothing. I you want to know one. I was referring to my tools. Except for some It's to do with my work, see? Like chemistry. I will check that, Mr. Hertley. That's all for now. Hertley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Leap. Ah, now I finally get to go in that room I always wanted to go in. To the future. But really, we're already in the future, and in fact, the future doesn't exist anymore because Back to the Future Part 2, we already met the date. We're way past it. Let's open some deduction. Got anything. I think this is a connection. You don't think so? And here we are. I'm gonna go up and ask you one last time. You better give me a correct answer. Uh, Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Immediately. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Really? No. You didn't have to tell me that. Thank you, madam. Now can I talk about the Who other could thing? Do such a thing? Let's see what could be hidden here. Hmm. Pumpkins. I feel like... Oh, shed's floor. Wooden... Mm-hmm. Ah, yes! That loud... Suspense music. Let us see what is in this box. Ah, puzzles. There are more. Yay. I hope it's a fun one. Oh, God. What? Oh, rotate all. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Kind of like this. I like puzzles. other stuff. Oh, nope, that's it. I'm a genius, what can I say? A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hertley if... and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. Oh my god, no. I gotta read this. Liam, my dear. You have been so good to me all the time that I have known you. I don't know. I don't remember what she sounds like. Judith. Yes. I think I said Judith. <laughs> I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. I fe fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is, it is his divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell, but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. So he killed him. For love. What's a cliche? Look at that! Ah, the clipping! Okay, so... That's it. How dare you, Mrs. Carey? Should I say, Mrs. Hurtley? You would think he would be the one that's violent and hurt. That would, that would hurt her. 
<laughs> Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, I got it. Um, hi. Oh my god! Wrong thing! Madam, uh. I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Alright, fairy godmother from Shrek 2. There Mrs. We go. Carey, I only we saw found your letters. Second. Last My time. letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. So Liam's let. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I, after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Meaning bother her about Thank it you, forever. Mother. I Thank wonder you. if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Obvious. Erg. Oh my goodness. That doesn't mean he's innocent. Is that what you're inclining here? Oh my goodness. Oh wait, what? Oh. Keyword could have. Gotta go with this. <laughs> so, hmm. maybe it could have been the lucky throw. I gotta, I gotta put the box in, just so I see if that's the box. <clears throat> this place, it, an object was to. But no, but. Okay, I guess I didn't take the box. I guess it doesn't matter. Can I go back and take it? No, stop. I'm just gonna leave it there, okay. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> mm, nice. Okay, so. What do I have? Let's look at what I completed. Okay, it's gonna go on for. Oh, yes, I gotta go back to Wigan. So back to Baker Street. That thing in the window really bothers me. <clears throat> Let's look at that seat. Padding for a seat looked like. I think you're the killer, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. 
Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Hmm. Why would I? This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us... This is interesting. This man is a harpooner, and his initials are P.C. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. But oh, we're going for... Peter Carey as well. That's the Wiggins, other P.C. Could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairn. Cairn. Not Cairns, was I said. We found yeah. Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's huh. always at the Sea Witch pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Two for each thing that he did. I'm gonna talk to this to Watson. Good gracious, you caught something. At least now you have a suspect. What? You're not very helpful. Wait, so what? Find a use. <laughs> so I gotta find a use for that. So wait, where am I going again? So, am I going after him? I'm not looking at that ugly thing. So, you play music too. What is that? Can't read it. Whatever. Greatest in invention since sliced bread, isn't it? Let's go to Scotland Yard. I just came here. Alright, well, we'll just run through real fast. Oh, it changed again. Is this supposed to be like the next day or something? Or something? How are you doing? How is the investigation going, Mr. Rowe? Bye bye. Not say. What am I? Okay. Nothing here. So let's go see if I can get a sailor costume. Fascination on looking down at my crotch.
right. Do I just so happen to have a sailor outfit on me? Sailor, yes, I do. To makeup table, Ooh. I've unlocked some. I'll take some facial hair. <laughs> that is probably, I think, with how my hair is growing, that's gonna be how it ends up. So they're round. Let's go for my hair. And there I am. Well, me in 15 or 20 years, maybe. No, older, because now oh, I can approach Cam. 30 years. And see if he recognizes the pouch. This is Sherlock Holmes, everybody. I'm sorry if this now draws you off from watching my series any longer. But I think he looks more like a writer, and that's what I want to be. If there's downloadable content, just some like more customizable options. Anyways, this is where I'm ending this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more in this series, and yes, yeah, soon we will finish this case. I'm just playing the harmonica in here. Annoying. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video, and make sure to subscribe.